good morning everyone today i will talk about immuno blotting techniques so immuno blotting techniques are of different different types like southern blotting technique northern blotting technique and western blotting technique so in today's video we will talk about northern blotting technique and southern blotting technique contents which will be covered in this slide what is blotting types of blotting then we will explain about the southern blotting and northern blotting techniques in details now what is blotting a blot in molecular biology and genetics is a method of transferring proteins dna or rna into a carrier the term blotting refers to the transfer of biological samples from its gel to a membrane and their subsequent detection on the surface of the membrane techniques for transferring dna rna and proteins onto a carrier so they can be separated and often follows the use of gel electrophoresis as i told you earlier the different types of blotting techniques are southern blot northern blot and western blot in southern blotting technique it is used to detect dna northern blotting technique it is used to detect rna and western blotting technique is used to detect protein now talking about southern blotting technique a southern blot is a method used in particular in molecular biology for the detection of a specific dna sequence in dna samples southern blotting combines transfer of electrophoresis separated dna fragments to a filter membrane and subsequent fragment detection by probe hybridization this method is named after its invention the british biologist edwin mellow southern so that's why this technique is known as southern blotting technique now talking about the principle of southern blotting technique the key to this method is hybridization it is the process of forming a double stranded dna molecule between a single stranded dna probe and a single standard dna molecule there are two important features of hybridization that is the reaction is specific the probes will bind to target with a complementary sequence the probe can find one molecule of target in a mixture of millions of related but non complementary molecules now talking about the steps which are involved in southern blotting first extract and purify dna from the cells then dna is restricted with enzymes after that the separation of electrophoresis is there then denaturation of dna next step is transfer to nitrocellulose paper after that add labeled probe for hybridization to take place then wash off unbound probe probe and then the last step is auto radiograph This is the apparatus for southern blotting technique. As you can see, see here, there are different different things are there: weight, paper towel stack, Wattman paper stack, membrane gel, Wattman paper, saran wrap platform, and transfer buffer. now the first step is extract and purify dna from cells isolate the dna in question from the rest of the cellular material in the nucleus then incubate specimen with detergent to promote cell lysis then lysis frees cellular protein and dna then proteins are enzymatically degraded by incubation with proteinase organic or non in organic extraction remove proteins dna is purified from solution by alcohol precipitation visible rna fibers are removed and suspended in buffer the another step is dna is restricted with enzymes as you can see in this picture the strand of dna is plated restricted in two different in different different parts that is called the digestion with restriction enzyme now the another step is separation by electrophoresis 
the complex mixture of fragments is subjected to gel electrophoresis to separate the fragments according to their size. Next step is denature RNA. The restriction fragments present in the gel are denatured with alkali. This causes the double standard to become single standard. Then DNA is then neutralized with sodium chloride to prevent rehybridization before adding the probe. Next step is transfer to nitrocellulose paper. Transfer the DNA from the gel to a solid support that is blotting. The blot is made permanent by drying at 80 degrees centigrade Celsius, then exposed to UV irradiations. Next step is add labeled probe for hybridization. The filter is incubated under hybridization condition with a specific radio labeled DNA probe. The probe hybridized to the complementary DNA restriction fragment. The next step is wash on unbounded probe. Blot is incubated with wash buffers containing sodium chloride and detergent to wash away the excess probe and reduces the background. Next step is audio radiograph. If the probe is radioactive, the particles emit when exposed to X-ray film. There will be dark spots on the film whenever the probe bound. So as you can see in this diagram also. So in the end, there are shown some dark spots are there. So this is the whole diagram that I earlier explained about. Now talking about the applications of Southern blotting technique. It is used to identify specific DNA in a DNA sample to isolate desired DNA for construction of recombinant DNA, identify mutations, deletions and gene rearrangement used in prognosis of cancer and in prenatal diagnosis of genetic disease, diagnosis of HIV-1 and infectious diseases. It is used in DNA fingerprinting for parentinity and maternity testing, criminal identification and forensic, and personal identification. Talking about the advantages and disadvantages of Southern blotting technique, Advantages are effective way to detect a specific DNA sequence in a large complex sample of DNA. It can be used to quantify the amount of present DNA cheaper than DNA sequencing. Now talking about the disadvantages, more expensive than other tests, complex and labor intensive, time consuming and cucumber. Now talking about northern blotting technique, this technique is used for the detection of specific RNA sequence. Various steps are involved. Firstly, RNA is isolated from several biological steps. Then samples are located on gel and the RNA samples are separated according to their size. The resulting gel following the electrophoresis run, then the gel is then blotted on a nylon membrane or a nitrocellulose fiber paper by creating a sandwich arrangement. After that, the membrane is placed in a dish containing hybridization buffer with a labeled probe. Next step is that membrane is washed to remove unbound probe. The next step is the labeled probe is detected via autoradiography. Talking about its application, it is used to study RNA degradation, to study RNA splicing, to study RNA half-life. It is often used to confirm and check transgenic knockout mice, a standard for the study of gene expression at the level of mRNA, that is messenger RNA transcripts. Talking about its disadvantages, detection with multiple probe is a problem. If RNA samples are even slightly degraded with RNA, the quality of data and quantification of expression is quite negative effect. So this was all about 
Sultan 